Good morning, traders. It is Wednesday, August 14th. We got some more volatility today in the market. Stocks are falling pretty sharply. Metals are popping again. Uh, yesterday was a, a pretty similar day to start off with some big pre-market moves, followed by intraday moves on uh, uh, tariffs being postponed. So let's take a look at the markets real quick here. SP 500 30 minute chart on the left. You can see we've gone from green bars. We got into an oversold market, had a bounce. And then from there on, we've been in this, uh, this downtrend. And now the market is struggling. Yesterday, instant pop in the market, really quick move. It got into a bit of an overbought territory short term. And, uh, and this morning we're trading right back down near these lows. And if we look at the daily chart, we actually wrote an article talking about this sandwich pattern and more or less this is the kind of the sandwich you got uh, kind of these back to back or these different slices of things in here and more or less it just creates this big range and this kind of sandwich pattern and more or less a breakout from in either direction here should be fairly significant uh, not only is the range big uh, but the pattern that it's come from from this bottom uh, up into this full range we could see this extend all the way back up to the highs or this could be uh, the market rolling over here and we could see it go back down to these lows potentially break these lows over here and we see things continue equities are trading sharply lower this morning down 1.5 percent and uh, you can see here the big red bar on the daily chart I'll just zoom in a bit more so we'll see how things unfold. We may end up getting back into a short play. The trend is down. We got close to the, we tagged the 50 day moving average twice. We're close to the 20 day. It's reversing down. And um, if the market does start to collapse, things could get pretty ugly and we do want to be in position. So we might take an SH trade, which is a, a non-leveraged inverse SP 500 instead of SDS two times. Um, because it's already had a big move, a percent and a half this morning, we want to just get our toe in the water and uh, let the market, if it falls, we can still profit from the falling price. We just don't want to get too leveraged up just because this could pop in reverse and we could be 3% or more underwater in a heartbeat uh, intraday. So we just want to reduce our risk and we want to be able to take some money out of the markets if it does collapse here because we are anticipating that August rollover and the fact that it's come up into this territory uh, and starting to uh, show signs of more weakness, we could easily see this continue to collapse. Now let's take a look over at, uh, at the uh, US dollar. If we take a look at the dollar UUP yesterday, huge pop in the dollar. Obviously that uh, kind of put a quick shatter into the precious metals. Uh, we saw metals and miners really reverse hard yesterday. They recovered really nicely. Uh, considering uh, today the uh, the dollar is trading a little lower, but uh, we're seeing metals continue to move up. Uh, it's gonna everything's gonna be pretty whipsaw price action. We we saw metals up about one percent, starting to pull back a bit. This is gold. If we look over at silver, same type of thing. Silver, huge price range in silver yesterday. It actually dipped into a, a short-term uh, oversold territory. Actually, the silver miners did. If we take a look at the silver miners and we look at the 30-minute chart here. You can see, it's hard to see it, zoom in. You can see yesterday's drop crashed right down, got into a short-term oversold, rebounded real quick. Uh, overall, silver's trading higher today. Hopefully, we'll see uh, the silver miners continue to go higher. Uh, the chart looks, uh, you can see it's fallen down to support, and uh, it recovered back to, to or near this 20-day moving average. And with silver up today, we could easily see silver miners recover and continue to go up. Looking over at energies, uh, crude down 3%. It ended up breaking through this resistance area we talked about and went right to their, our next blue resistance line. This is when you look at the markets and the charts, you want to draw these uh, support and resistance lines because they act as, think of it as an apartment building. When you go through a ceiling, you're going to go all the way up to the next ceiling as resistance. And you're going to ping pong around between the ceiling and floor. And so we came right to this next level. If we look at the actual trend here, you can see just this, a falling trend line. It also came to a falling trend line area and we and now it's reversing back down. So now it's at this floor. We could see it chop around here for a little bit and see if it builds some type of pattern for a potential breakout and extension or if it starts to break the support level again, which is more or less uh, today's uh, current price here. If it breaks this, then it could very easily go back down, test the 51. We have a potential downside target all the way to 44 if it does uh, uh, start to reverse and break this key support level. So we're keeping our eye on crude going forward as well. Looking over at natural gas, up 2% this morning. 
It's got this kind of little hook pattern, which happens in commodities, oil, uh, gold, uh, specific, even more. Uh, but more or less, we'll see if it can get some traction. We're looking for a bottoming formation in, in um, natural gas here. More or less, it's had a long, big move down. It's formed this little bear flag. And now it's kind of just kind of squeezing the market out. It's popping. We saw this in crude, and it squeezed us out of the trade, and then crude completely tanked. Uh, natural gas could do the same thing. This is this is kind of how the market moves, creates a, a bear flag. This happens in bull flags as well, where just near the end, it starts to uh, really pick up speed. It shakes everyone out of the bull flag and then it, or the, the bear flag and then reverses. Uh, so we're going to let the natural gas continue to do its thing. We're looking for some type of bottoming formation and a clear breakout eventually uh, on the chart. If we do, we'll be looking to get long because natural gas is uh, fairly undervalued. And long term seasonality wise, we should see it continue to go higher. But look at the 30 minute chart. You can see we hit the 20 day, got overbought, it sold down more or less. Uh, if we zoom in, you can see here yesterday it popped up. This red shaded area means we're overbought. And uh, the market is still in the downtrend. It's going to pop higher uh, in pre-market. This is only regular trading hours, our analysis here. Uh, that's when the majority of volumes traded. But the market is going to gap up to this 20-day moving average, uh, very similar to a setup like this. It's going to be overbought. And uh, we could see sellers step into the market today for natural gas and see this head lower. Uh, looking over at, uh, let's just pull up uh, bonds real quick. Money continues to pile into bonds. Just look at the daily chart. Uh, bonds picking up speed. Uh, we're, st we're starting to see that increased volatility. So I think we are getting to a point here where uh, we're going to have a, a, another really big uh, move in the market. It's kind of, it's had this run. It's had this, uh, it's a, it looks like a running consolidation. So instead of the market running up and then creating a bull flag and consolidating uh, and then continuing to go higher, uh, this is a running correction, meaning it's run up, it's sold off, it's rallied back up, pulled back, it's rallied back up. Uh, it's had some it's kind of correcting as it's running really hard to trade a breakout from these patterns in either direction if it starts to break down it'll be a very sharp breakdown but running corrections are can also be seen as a very strong sign if it starts to break to the upside then it really extends and explodes uh, higher and if equities markets start to break down bonds this is a halfway mark you've had to run up more or less to here and then you could you could measure that second half somewhere up to here. So we could see a pretty big run in bonds if the equities market do break down from this pattern. Money's really going to start to pile into bonds uh, at an at a equivalent rate probably to this first run. We could see a four or five day strong surge in bonds to the upside. So just to recap on the major markets, this is the SP500 daily chart. I've zoomed back. Or you can see back into uh uh, mid 2018, but more or less this pattern here this, that we're seeing this type of momentum and sell-off is very similar to this and it's very similar to this and we got to be really aware that the markets could break down and we've got a couple of key support levels here on the chart. If these one or both of these are broken, then things could get really ugly and we could go into something much more deeper, more volatile like that. So this is what we're looking for. This is the August potential top coming into play. And of course, if we start to break these lows, you could start to argue here that either uh, more or less this significant one down here, if that is broken, we could be very early warning sign or signal into a bear market going forward. So uh, this is where we're looking at uh, these type of patterns and it looks like the market wants to go down and uh, the trend is down at this point. So I uh, will look likely get into position. We'll see how the market moves today. Really volatile. It's moving on news. So things are going to whipsaw around for a bit. And uh, it adds a little extra risk, but we do want to be involved in case the market does go uh, start to collapse. Uh, once it does, uh, it's really hard to jump on suit. You can see it just goes day after day lower and lower. And chasing those are deadly because eventually it's going to have a knee-jerk reaction rally. The strongest rallies happen in a bear market or in a downtrend. And you don't want to chase something down here or here as the market's collapsing and then see it reverse 4 or 5% in uh, a two-day period and, and you get stopped out. So... Uh, we're looking to potentially get in here early for that uh, potential breakdown and put a tight stop in somewhere just above this area. Anyways, that's it for now. Talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye.